I am so excited about all the sweet treats that you guys have been sending me. I have seen cakes. I didn't see any of my uh, delectable cupcakes yesterday, but that is a fun lesson, so you wanna make sure to do that one. And you can always email them to me or you can submit a picture of them in Google Classroom. Remember, you only have to do one lesson a week um, in order to get credit for class, but if you're taking this on the side, then you can do as many or as little as you want. Today's sweet treat, ice cream cones. Now, we're finishing a whole study this week on Wayne Tebow, and I realized I have a typo in one of my, um, in one of my videos. I spelled it B-A-L-D, it's B-A-U-D, Wayne Tebow. And if you didn't get uh, some information about him in the bio, um, go back to Monday's cake lesson and there is a link to um, a CBS report about his work. So that you can take a look at and you can see all of his work, but we're featuring a new suite every day because after all, he loved to paint sweets he loved to use really bold colors and he always had shadows. So this is in my sketchbook, this is in watercolor, but I'm gonna teach you a few different ways to do this project today. You can adapt it for um, anything that you have available and um, the time that you have or what your interests are. So let's get started. You're going to need some cardboard you know, I am reusing all my cardboard boxes. So I had a box of cookies from Trader Joe's that I just used the cardboard from on the side. Um, you're gonna need some white paper and a pencil and either uh, a Sharpie or your markers and or watercolor if you're gonna use watercolor today. That's what you need, let's get started. Okay, with your cardboard piece, you're gonna want to make a long triangle. Okay, that triangle is about five inches long. Okay, you can use your ruler if you want, or you can just eyeball it, but once you've drawn it, you're gonna cut it out and you're gonna use this as your template so that all your ice cream cones are the same size. So again, draw a five inch tall triangle and cut it out. Okay, we're gonna invert it for the cone on our ice cream, okay? And then, gosh, I one of my very first jobs I ever did was I worked at um, Haagen-Dazs. And so when you smash the scoop on the top, some of the ice cream kind of falls around the side and you end up with this sort of bubbled um, spot. So when you're doing that, it's a, it's a curve um, with a bubble on the bottom of it. I'll show you. So, you're gonna use that as your template for your ice cream scoops um, to trace. So it kinda looks like that, okay? So you make that on your cardboard piece and you can use it as your template so that you can do multiple cones at a time, okay? So I'm gonna show you, use a new piece of paper. I'm gonna show you how to do this and get started. First, you're gonna do your cones, okay? I'm gonna do three cones because I know that uh, three, uh, makes a in more interesting composition because odd numbers really make an interesting composition. Also, if there's anything missing, some in some of his ice cream pictures, he showed um, the holder that the ice cream cone goes in. It's like a, a board basically with some holes in it and some of them are empty. So your brain sort of wonders, well, you know, it sort of creates a story. Well, why are those empty? what's going on there. Now I'm doing this in pencil because I want to be able to erase some of those lines. I don't love when I can see the line from the ice cream um, scoop. So I'm gonna lay this over the top so it's sort of spilling over the top of 
my cone, okay? But see how I have this line here? I want to erase this line so that I'm not gonna see that in my composition, okay? Maybe this one got stuck on a little cattywampus. They don't have to be um, all, you know, straight and the same. You'll kind of want to vary them a little bit and kind of move the scoop around. Because, you know, ice cream is a little funny to work with. Sometimes it doesn't stay exactly the way it should. Okay, all right. There we go. So I've got the start and I think I want to make these, you know, I'm a big fan of the double scoop. It feels like a double scoop day. So I'm going to put this one on top of that one and kind of get it to the very top of the paper. And now I'm going to erase the top of that scoop. Okay, so you see how they're kind of stacking up on top of each other? This one is gonna be a little, it's gonna fall over, it's tilting. Okay. And I'm gonna erase that line so I don't see it. And then this one, maybe this one I'm just gonna put really far down so that we're only gonna get a little layer on the bottom of that other one. It's making me super hungry making these. Okay. So there I have my double scoop cones, okay? Oh, you're getting the highlight from my, um, my blinds, but there you go. All right, so I'm gonna take my permanent marker and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna even take a non-permanent marker. Let's do that, a water-based marker. That way we can see the lines, but they will bleed when we paint with either water, water or watercolor. So that you can see these lines, I'm gonna go around the edge and just trace over my ice cream lines. Uh, do you have a favorite flavor? My favorite flavor I love, but I love anything with pecans in it, but I love anything with caramel. And you have to excuse me, my nose, I my allergies right now because all the plants and flowers are in bloom. They are just crazy. My nose is not happy. All right, so now we've gone over all our ice creams and you get to make a choice. Um, you get to choose whether you're doing uh, watercolor or uh, marker. Now I have a bunch of markers. Um, if you're gonna do marker, uh, some of the darker colors, the purples and the blues and stuff work really well with water. Um, some of the uh, Some of the lighter colors, the reds and the oranges don't tend to work so well. They don't bleed as much as we'd like them to. And remember, you're gonna make a fat line on the inside of your ice cream, okay, so that it will bleed and ooze. And then for our cone, we're gonna have the light coming from this side so we're gonna make some fat lines on this side of the paper. We're still gonna go around our whole cone so that we can get that nice um, color in here when we add water to it. We're just using the marker as a watercolor wash. Let me go get my um, paintbrush and I'll show you. Okay, got my paintbrush. You're gonna need a paintbrush just to add some water to your cone so that you can make that water wash and make that marker bleed a little bit. Now, if you're doing the, the ice cream, you're gonna wanna paint over that color and it's gonna, whoops, ah. it's gonna take a minute or two for the water to kinda 
make this marker bleed and ooze a little bit and soften it up, okay? But if you wanted to do um, watercolor, get my watercolor set. I have a little watercolor set from, from school. Um, again, you're gonna wanna think about highlights and shadows in a minute as well, but um, let's say maybe I wanna do some mint chip. in it for my chocolate chips. But you can choose any ice cream you want and make your double scoops. And for your cone, you're gonna wanna use a lot of brown, but especially darker brown on this side of the cone. And then we'll do, you know the cones have like a little pattern on them? Um, hash mark pattern for the waffle part of it. We're gonna waffle cone. Okay, um, so there's, oh, little paint came off my, the stick of my brush. All right, so you're gonna do a dark line here, and then you're gonna put a lot of water on your brush. Okay, now the hash mark, we can either do in black or you can even do it in marker once this is all dry. But it basically goes like this, okay? And then, this is gonna get a little, because it's got a lot of water on it, it's gonna bleed a little bit. But that's okay, I kinda like that look. Okay, I'm gonna do a slant line that line in the opposite direction so you get that nice um, waffle cone kind of look. Okay, so there is the start of your ice cream cones. Okay, and you're gonna want to think about the shadow that the ice cream cone has underneath it. If this was in a holder, it would have a shadow on this side. I'm gonna put a lot of black in here. And brown. We could even put a little bit of blue in there. But it's going to have a shadow. have a lot of colors in them and they don't necessarily they're always black okay it's gonna connect to that other one so that we've got these three this with marker as well when you wash it. Um, 
but you're gonna to wanna to make a shadow. It's gonna be darker on this side of the cone, the side that we have our shadow, um, because the light is coming from the opposite side. See that? Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple that I did, and so you can kind of compare, and I cannot wait to see them. Let me show you mine. Okay, Grayson said he really liked this one. I did one that was a triple scoop. So I didn't do three, but I did three scoops. I didn't do three separate cones. You can totally do that. I have my um, upside down triangle and my three scoops. I don't love this line in here. So I would recommend doing pencil first. This is when I did it when I um, with just marker at first, but I used a water-based marker so it kind of bled and oozed. I put a cherry on top. I have a little bit of a shadow underneath the cherry and I used marker for my lines here and added a little bit of marker here to make it a little bit darker. Okay, that's one way to do it. I also did um, a, a marker version and just painted it with water Okay, so again, I have a cherry on this one and I used marker as my wash and marker for my shadows um, and marker around the edge of my scoops. So that one is fun. And then I already showed you the one I did in my sketchbook, but this is one that I did with watercolor. But again, I kept the lines, which I don't really love. So I would recommend using pencil first and then putting, uh, tracing your ice cream scoops, but don't forget your shadow. So you, your composition has to have an odd number of scoops, okay? This is actually an even number of scoops, but an odd number of cones, either an odd number of scoops or cones, and then the shadow at the bottom, okay? And the dark edge on this side, so you wanna think about shadows on this side of the cone. Okay, because he was so good at doing all those shadows. And then you're either gonna want to do watercolor wash or um, a um, ink marker wash on your cones. If you don't have either of those, feel free to use crayons, color them any way you like. Um, but don't forget about the shadow and don't forget about mixing colors. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to see your ice cream cones. You guys, I hope you're staying safe. I miss you so very much. And please send me your artwork. I'm so excited and I'm sending it right back to you with comments. And most often you'll get an A from me for just effort. So just do it, hand it in. I cannot wait to see it. Have a great Wednesday.